In the year 1983, aspiring comic book authors Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird moved in with each other, and later that year began working together to create their own brand new superhero. And it didn't take long for one of them to come up with something so dumb, so stupid, that it actually might work. Originally designed to parody popular tropes in superhero comics at the time, the four turtles, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael, would quickly explode in popularity, becoming a brand able to stand up there with the other heavy hitters of the medium. But while they may enjoy the limelight in our world, in their world, these four vigilantes stalk the shadows and prowl the night. Rarely heard and even more rarely seen, they are the saviors that race through the skylines and trudge through the sewers, defending the citizens that would rather shun their existence than accept them as people. Some call them freaks, others call them monsters, but these four brothers are all one thing, heroes. But they weren't always like this. They were once ordinary turtles lost in the sewers, and were adopted by a street rat named Splinter. They lived peacefully underground in the muck and grime, surviving off of what Splinter could find. Until one day, a strange substance leaked into the sewers. But instead of killing them, the ooze instead accelerated their growth, transforming them into something more. And because Splinter was the former pet of a ninja, he decided the best thing to do was to train all four turtles in the arts of ninjutsu. And after years of training, the four brothers were ready to take to the city streets, given names and weapons to boot, with the new life mission of defending the innocent. No longer were they meager pets lost. They were now Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. But, if you want to know what the world's most fearsome fighting team can do, be sure to check out the full episode when it's released. And be sure to check out their opponents, Team Ruby.